This video is on measurement. So there's a couple of different measurements that we can look at in science. So we have different dimensions. We have length, volume, mass, temperature, and time. With each of these, they have different meanings. They require a different formula or symbol. They have different units. We're going to illustrate a picture of some of them and they all have different tools used to measure them. So length. Length is about how long something is. The formula or symbol for length is that it just must be measured. So there's no formula to calculate it. We just have to measure it. And that's usually using a meter stick. The units for measuring length is in meters. And then you can have variations of that. You can have your base unit of meters, you can have a centimeter, you can have a millimeter, or you can have a kilometer. And we'll talk more about our metric units at a later time. So a picture of length would just be a straight line. Okay, We'd be measuring from one end to the next using our meter stick. So that tool is a ruler or a meter stick. The next one that we have is volume. Volume has to do with space. It's the amount of space something takes up. The way we measure volume is in liters or we can use centimeters cubed, depending upon what we're using as our tool to measure it. Looks like I got two mixed up, so we're going to change these two. I skipped over our formula. The formula for length, or sorry, for volume, is going to be length times width times height. Or we can use water displacement. And that's by using a graduated cylinder, filling it with water, sticking your item into the water, and then the water rises. So similar to you going into a bathtub, and then the water rises after you come in. So picture we have here, we have a cube. We would measure the length times the width times the height, so the length is how long it is, times the width times the height. Okay, And then like I said before, your tool would be either a ruler, slash meter stick, or graduated cylinder. Next we have mass. So mass is the amount of matter or how much something is. So it's matter, Oops, let me change that. or just how much stuff. Okay. Our formula or symbol for mass is just M and that our mass must be measured. must be measured. We measure mass in grams and here again we can have variations, metric variations of it. So usually have grams or we can also use kilograms. Mass is just 
the matter, so there's my drawing of mass. And to measure mass, we can either use a balance, like here, or we can use a scale. And a scale would be electronic, or a balance. You would weigh something here, and something here of known weight. They usually are kind of round, like cylinders. So you have a known weight, and you have your item you're trying to find the mass of, and you'd add known weights to the left to equal, to, to equal the mass of the item on the right. Then we have temperature. Temperature is not how hot or cold something is, but it's the average motion of the particles. So it's how fast our particles move. Its formula is T. It's capitalized for temperature. And we have to measure it. And the units we use are degrees Celsius. To measure temperature, we use a thermometer. And they can either be electric or they can be an analog where we're reading how far up uh, the red liquid goes. So here we would be looking at how high to the top of the liquid inside of our thermometer goes. Finally, we have time. Time is just how long something takes. We measure time with a lowercase t, and we again have to measure it. The units for time are seconds, which is a lowercase s, we measure time using a clock or a stopwatch. or a timer. Most of the time we'll just use the timers on your phones or um, on another electronic device that you have.